our presentation. <laughs> okay, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to start with a few questions. A quick, a quick competition. Yeah. And we'll number you off one, two, one, two, and then you can go on the side. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Slower, sorry. Can you do it again? Sure. One, two, 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 one, Marion's fault. Marion, you want to do it? Oh. Marion and... Okay, so 
Okay. Let's see you guys. Let's do it. Don't worry about it. Can we throw your switch? Okay. Ready? I know. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's so great. Okay, I have to go now. Okay, Wait, what can be done with some difficult recyclable items that you find at home? No. Find difficult recyclable items. Batteries or computer parts. No, they press it first. Oh, well. Yeah. So, no. What could be done? No. Yeah, like, if you have batteries, what do you do with it? Like, you have to be... Ah, maybe like, if you put the batteries in it, then you can put the chemicals around it. No, 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 it's first. <laughs> of carbon dioxide are being emitted into the air, but that information doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't help you guys and others into motivating yourselves into recycling. <laughs> it may be because we feel as if this issue is on such a grand scale that it's too difficult to make an impact and change, but we're going to tell you that it's not. So let's start with exactly, exactly how not recycling is a harm to the environment. The manufacturing processes of our modern world are necessary for the creation of products. The entire process releases a lot of waste in many different forms. Therefore, the more we throw away, the more we buy, and ultimately, the more we waste. This is an example of what harmful chemicals in our resources can do. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm not just and then these are non-biodegradable products, which means they're not organic and they will not, they will stay exactly where they are if you throw them out without thinking about what you're doing. And it will be harmful to the environment because they don't go away for a very long time. Okay, so energy conservation is one of the positive parts of uh, recycling. Uh, it takes less energy to produce materials uh, with recycled uh, materials. First of all, because when you use um, 
raw materials, it takes energy first to take them from the environment, the processes, the transportation, and the production itself. However, when you use recyclable materials, it's used to break down to their basic elements. Either it's like um, melted, crushed, um, anything. And let's see. Also, these uh, pencils, and these are examples of things that can be made after you recycle different materials. For example, I remember when I was in about elementary school, pretty much all of it, we used to have these pencils that were made out of recycled newspaper from Japan, and they used to smell incredibly good, like they would be scented. And so it was like a total fad to be in love with these pencils, and the more you had, like the cooler you were. And this is the way like recycled materials were integrated into our lives, but we didn't see it. And I think that's a good idea. Like, it's a good example to show that sometimes we do we do have these things in our lives that like we don't pay attention but they're still there. As we mentioned before, using recycled materials uses <laughs> materials in the manufacturing process it reduces the need for raw materials. So we don't care about how the how the how it has how sorry. How those trees and every, everything has um, like have been affected, but we instead we can think about the future and how to fix it. So, and so as we already know, recycling paper reduces the amount of trees cut down. But in a broader scale, recycling all sorts of materials will reduce the space needed for landfill, reducing landscape clearing. Okay, so the recycling is kind of a form of three, uh, three steps. Okay, okay. Okay, the first one is the recollection of the recyclable materials. In the case of our project, we're gonna work with the organization called Ixiebo. So it's going to come to school and pick up our recyclable materials. Uh, the second step is that they're taken to where they're going to be recycled or clean, crushed, uh, usually, for example, with um, glass, aluminum, and some metals. They're melted to their basic elements. And with uh, cardboard and paper, they're shattered to be recycled. Uh, this is an example again of like cans uh, to make less space and to be taken to be recycled. Uh, step three, they're ready to purchase. They it depends on the demand of the product, and it also depends on the quality, like the buyers looking for in the product. So we encourage you guys to buy high quality recycled products that can replace the product you usually buy because um, the manufacturing industry will try to um, supply your demand. Okay, the carbon footprint, I know you already heard of it, but I'll just give it to you many questions. Yeah, many versus issues. Times. So, well, carbon refers to carbon dioxide or the greenhouse gases that are, may be emitted into the atmosphere and footprints refer to places left behind. Therefore, car carbon footprints is the impact left on Earth by the greenhouse gases. And your personal carbon footprint could be um, depending on how you transport, how much energy you use. And we know this is the main point. Um, re trans um, recycling does result in a carbon footprint because um, a carbon footprint can be less than how you, use how you transport your recycling than the process of like, recycling, mm -hmm. stuff. recycling stuff. But they do create a much smaller impact than not recycling at all. In the, in the face of our highly developed, highly or digitalized culture today, it's nearly impossible to not expend any energy at all. So what comes to your mind when we ask you what materials can be recycled? You can go into aluminum cans, tin cans, plastic bottles, paper, of course, yeah. almost everything. So we can recycle metallic materials such as aluminum foil and tin cans. We can recycle paper and cardboard like magazines and newspapers. 
We can recycle glass materials, but they're harder to know which to recycle. Um, products you cannot recycle that are made of glass are ceramics, mirror, window glass, or crystal. There's a wide variety of recyclable plastics. Therefore, plastic products are identified with a resin identification code, which is a, a set of seven different symbols that represent different plastics. Batteries, bulbs, and electronics aren't usually placed in the regular recycle bin, but they can be disposed of at recycling centers or donated recycling products at school or... Like Davina said, um, the plastics are different. For example, the bottle from glass bottle is totally different from the fusion glue bottle. So that should be important when you try to recycle to see where you put each kind of plastic. So here's some tips to get you guys started. Although our entire project focuses on recycling, do not forget the two first words of the phrase, reduce and recycle. Our first step should be to reduce the amount <laughs> reduce and reuse. Our first step should be to reduce the amount that we consume. And secondly, before taking that plastic to the recycle bin, we should be able to, you should be creative and think of other ways to use that. Number two, you guys should feel guilty. None of us have been 100% recycling sink, and sometimes we put the occasional plastic bottle in the normal, in the normal trash can. But if you feel that it's your guilt afterwards, then you know that you're doing something right. So allow that guilt to fuel you into putting that plastic, bin, plastic bottle in the right bin. Okay, so um, about the how to reuse things. Back in Mexico, we used to have to use the wrappers from snacks, uh, chips, anything, and then we make it into bags. And I think that's really creative because you can do it anywhere. And it was they were like really famous because uh, they were ecologic and they were colorful and cool. Yeah. So that's a really good example of like how you can use um, trash. <laughs> So if you find yourself not having a recycle bin in your community, try to find recycling facilities close to home. Um, take a look at your daily activities and try to alter them. You know, try to print double-sided and use a lot of scrap paper. And lastly, turn this into a habit. Okay, so our project and what we decided to do to take action, well, we haven't actually done it yet. It's an idea that we want to be able to um, have over a month is a competition between the grades of our school and as you could kind of tell from the mini competition we had here when it is something that you can win everyone wants to win it's the excitement gets built up for it and we think that especially in high school they will want to like they will, they will want to do it more we have a whole day called unity day where we just go into four different groups and we play games and the winner wins. There's no prize, there's nothing, except for the feeling of unity and the glory that comes with winning. And we're thinking that if we use that kind of energy into this competition, we will be able to make it a habit for them and it'll be so easy. They're like, oh, I have this plastic bottle. Oh, I need to win. I'll put it in this, the right bin, you know? And then after this happens, they'll, over the month that we want to have it, we want it to, to become a habit and they will just think about it even when it's not a competition. So our outlook is to set up two separate bins, one for paper and one for plastic and tin. And we're doing it for each grade. So there'll be about like two bins on three levels. And we'll calculate the points by the volume and the weight that each grade has accumulated. So the organization involved with our project is El Cielo. And we've communicated with them and established a system where they will pick up the recycled materials the school has accumulated fortnightly. Our cooperation with El Cielo is solely based on our mutual passion to improve our community's environment. Graciously, they're aiding us without receiving any funds or profits. El Cielo is an organization that we believe truly benefits from collecting at our school in terms of employment. The organization was created by a group of women in 2001 in Argentina's economic crisis to integrate the marginalized group of trash collectors in the labor force of dignified work. The organization promotes the self-esteem of its employees and recognize that recyclers play an important part in the service of the community. And also, it, it is going, we want to make it sustainable because we're going to continue being in contact with the organization and we want to try to spread maybe the contest to middle and elementary to have them get involved too, especially littler kids have much more energy than a bunch of zombie high schoolers. <laughs> and we want to see if, we, we can also compare the results between them and us and how maybe it affects who, who gets affected more. So the intended outcome of our project 
is that students in our high school eventually become accustomed to recycling. And we achieve to, we have, we are um, achieving this by establishing a foundation for their habits that will sprout from the contents of their homes. Lastly, we decided to pick this because we know that it doesn't happen and it needs to happen and there are many outcomes in which we described to you earlier that are effects of just these little things that we can do in our communities that will help, like, they will help in general. They will help us, they will help the world, they'll help the environment, and it is, it's our duty. We don't have a, we should not have a choice whether we should recycle or not. We should have to recycle. There isn't, these things that we need to do are steps that need to be taken in order for us to be able to proceed in the future, I think. So now we're going to talk about the three-day speaker plate. First, we're going to split into two groups and talk about, uh, we're going to have you guys sort the recycling, and then we're going to have one side talk about situations in which recycling could occur. Okay. Right. Okay. So, so one group, yeah, you guys can. <coughs> Okay, okay. So, so, what do you guys think? Take anything away, or I can be on 